He says, uh, did the Prophet وسلم, when he said to one of his companions, trust Allah, but tie the camel. Yani, he wants more clarification. Should I just lock my door or lock the door, have a security system, uh, alarm system, have a guard, have a dog, have two gunmen, and he goes on uh, living in a bulletproof uh, uh, house and windows and trans uh, uh, moving in a car as such. So he wants to know what's the meaning of tying a camel. This is very easy, Akhi. A man came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, I left my camel outside. Should I tie the camel or should I leave it untied and come in trusting Allah Azza wa Jal to preserve it for me? The Prophet told him, trust Allah and tie your camel. They go side by side. So trust and tawakkul is always side by side with taking the necessary means. Because if you have trust on, in Allah Azza wa Jal and full dependence without taking the necessary means, this is insane. And if you take the necessary means and do your due diligence and do everything you have to do, but without trusting Allah, this is a breach of Tawheed. This uh, raises question marks about your Islam. So it, they have to go side by side. Trusting Allah Azza wa Jal without taking the necessary means is like sitting home and saying that, Oh Allah, grant me a righteous child, but I'm not going to get married and I'm not going to leave the home, the house. This is insane. You will trust Allah Azza wa Jal, you have to get married. And taking the necessary means without trusting Allah is depending on yourself. Working 8 hours or 10 hours a day, not looking or uh, relying on Allah Azza wa Jal, but it's, it's my power, it's my knowledge that I'm gaining my paycheck and my, I'm making these profits. This is a breach of Tawheed because now you think that you are a God that you provide for yourself, that you do this, it, it has to go side by side. Now, the extreme measures he mentioned, it depends. For me, just locking the door is sufficient. For someone who's in a, a minister or a, a, a government official, he has to take guards. For someone who's a ruler, he has to, to have an army and so on. So it depends on the person and the means also depend on his tawakkul on Allah the all